Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick, here with another Make It Monday! <laughs> How are you today, my friends? I hope you had a fantastic weekend! My weekend was so awesome! This weekend was Stampin' Up's annual on-stage event celebration of a year's worth of hard work and achievements and also a sneak peek at some brand new products, which I have ordered and can't wait to share with you. So anyway, oh my goodness. All the things that I could share with you about on stage is going to have to wait for another video because there is a lot to share. It's super exciting and a whole lot of fun, but today is all about this card. <laughs> okay, so today's Make It Monday project is featuring the quite curvy collection. Oh my goodness, say that 10 times fast. Um, it's a brand new stamp and die bundle as well as another stamp set and a pack of designer series papers that was offered starting the 1st of November through the end of the month. And uh, it's a sneak peek at a product set, a bundle, uh, that's going to be available in the spring mini catalog. So the quite curvy bundle, stamps and dies, are going to be in the spring 2021 catalog. So you're getting a sneak peek of those items today, but then also they released the quite cur or curvy Christmas stamp set that as you can see coordinates with the uh, curvy dies, which is so fantastic. And so I thought that I would share a, um, Oh my goodness, a swap card that I made <laughs> for some friends of mine uh, who other Stampin' Up! demonstrators who also attended on stage and uh, collectively we decided to do a swap and this is my swap card. So I wanted to show it to you and share with you how I made it. All right, so let's get started. Oh, so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay. So what you're going to need is, first of all, a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cherry cobbler cardstock scored at five and a half. This is going to give you the card base. All right. You'll need two pieces of Whisper White cardstock, and uh, that's because one piece is going to be used for the front, and then because it's a darker card base, uh, the other piece is going to be for the inside. So you'll need the one piece of Cherry Cobbler and two four inch by five and a quarter inch pieces of Whisper White cardstock for the front and the inside. And then this is a scrap of the uh, designer series paper that coordinates with the Curvy Christmas uh, stamp set. And it is four and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. And we're going to use the curvy dies to cut this. And then as you can see from my card, I have die cut two stitched stars and I've done this out of Bumblebee Yellow and I've already cut these for the sample so that it doesn't take us so long. And then I've also used some beautiful linen thread and I'm going to use Memento Black ink and the Dark Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends marker. Okay, so that's what you're going to need for today's project. Let's get started. So much fun. Okay, I'm going to bring in the beautiful stamp and cut and emboss machine. I love it. All right. We'll lay the designer series paper piece down. And then I'm going to grab this die. And you can see when you look at it that there is a die edge there, like a blade edge on that side, but not on this side. And that is what makes this right here. So it cuts the edge at a curve and it also puts the uh, little holes in there. Okay, so it does that all at the same time, which is very cool. So let's go ahead and just line this up 
right like that. Let me make sure that that blade is pointed down. And if you have any struggles with your magnetic plate, you can use uh, washi tape, which I may have to do. I'm trying not to, but I may have to because occasionally that old magnet gets a little contrary. But all right, there we go. I think that'll work. Run it through. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so let me move this out of the way. Okay, now we've got this, and let's bring in the rest of our card pieces. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this piece down uh, with stamp and seal. There we go. Get it started here. Okay, and I'm just going to center it right in the middle of the card front, just like so. And then I'm going to take the linen thread and I'm going to tie it around this layer and I'm going to tie it into a bow. So let me... Maybe not quite that much bend. If I leave a little bend in the paper, then by the time I tie the bow and flatten the paper, it cinches the bow down, which is why I like to do that. So you see that now it's uh, relatively snug and not too loose, and the paper can go flat. So that's my little trick for you uh, to be able to get your paper um, get your paper flat and the twine to, uh, to lay snug on the paper because I struggle with it otherwise. And so that's my little tip. And then I'm just trying to, um, I'm trying to put my stamp and seal over the top of the, um, linen thread so that way it will kind of secure it down. And uh, you could use liquid glue or whatever you wanted to, but that stamp and seal works just fine. And then I'm going to line this up with the edge of my card, just like so. There we go. All right, now that we've got that, I can take my stars, and I've already put dimensionals on the back in an attempt to move quickly here. <laughs> Trying not to take too long on this super simple project. And then I just want, let me see, I want that side to go up and I want this to go over. That way I can straddle it like so. There we go. Now you just want to make sure that uh, the edge of your star doesn't go past the edge of the card, so that way it will close up in the envelope nicely. So just be aware of that when you put your stars on. All right. Now I'm going to bring in my pierce mat, and I'm going to stamp right here. So I'm going to put that up. And I'm just going to stamp this across. And where are my little tabs? I had, uh, I had put this piece on, and you really need to stamp it while this is already on because you're going to be following the curve um, of the die cut space. So what I'm going to do is just bring in a little post-it and I'm going to line it up with that edge so that way I don't get the ink on the card base itself. And quit folding on me. Trying to be slick and put it under the edge of that piece. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let me tap this down again. Tap, tap, tap. Not smush, smush, smush. 
and then we're just going to follow the lines. Give me some more ink on that side. We're just going to follow the lines of the die cut itself. So we'll just put it down right about there. Beautiful. And then when I pull this off, look at that. Isn't that great? Okay. Now, while we have the stamp out, I'm going to pull this piece and through the magic of television, I have already stamped <laughs> and colored that one. And I will show you how I'm going to color it uh, with our card base. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this inside the card while we've got it out here. So let me do that. There we go, and here we are, perfect. Okay, and then while I have the ink, I'm going to go ahead and take the Merry Christmas stamp from the Curvy Christmas set. So you can see I used the little star trail, the little swoosh. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the Merry Christmas stamp now. And so I'll just tap, tap, tap. Line it up here on the bottom. Stamp it down. Very good. Okay. Now, what I did for the little swoosh here, as you can see on my sample, I've just taken the Dark Daffodil Delight ink and I'm using the brush tip and I'm just going to lightly brush it along the inside of the swoosh area. Now I actually don't have to be super careful here because if it leaves some little negative spaces uncolored or if it happens to color just slightly outside the lines then it looks a little eclectic and it's okay. But I will make sure that I'm focusing on my stars to have them fully colored. So I don't want to miss any of those. And then just like that. All right, so there we go. And this card is done. All right, so now I can finagle my bow just a little bit to make sure that it's beautiful and uh, it's pointed the right direction. And then there you have it, a super cute little rustic Christmas card that will be perfect to send to anyone on your Christmas list. All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed today's project. And until next time, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.